Well, there's no doubt that Donald Trump has had a better week. The top news right now is that former Deputy Secretary Richard Armitage says that he is going to vote for Hillary Clinton over Donald Trump. And according to this political article, that's one of the most dramatic signs yet that the Republican National Organization is pulling away from Trump. Armitage served for George W. Bush. Now you can argue that, well, he's a Bush man, but still, let's look at some of the other related articles here on Twitter. Donald Trump chasing campaign cash veers from battleground states. Hillary Clinton is eating his lunch right now in terms of money. She is advertising strong in those battleground states starting today. Trump is supposed to be, at least that's what he said, he's funding his own campaign, but apparently he's having problems raising money. According to Yahoo News, the Trump show just isn't funny, and it's time for the GOP leaders to walk out. Donald Trump, 19 hours ago, says finally an accurate story from the Washington Post. The Trump effect, cable news viewership and profit surge in 2015, he's saying. Well, that's not going to do him much right now, is it? What happened in 2015? Yeah, he was uh, certainly a, con a real controversy. But so what? How is that really going to help him now? But let's look and see exactly what is happening on the live uh, tweets. Here's a poll. 94% of black Americans disapprove of Trump. Now keep my I don't have any control over what is being shown on, on Twitter. Uh, these again, these are live. And the Muslim American youth experiences come together. Well, this person said, uh, hey, uh, I hope you have a heart attack so everyone is forced to vote for Bernie to beat Trump. Okay, so I added a video to a YouTube playlist, a prophetic message from Donald Trump. So let's just see what it is. Now to set up this, I want the church to hear me. I know that you all look for people who are going to lead this nation to be somebody ideally who believes in the Bible, knows the Bible, but I'm going to tell you something. You have to line up with what God wants. Yeah. This is not about what we want. Right. This is about what God wants. Now, yes. God sees people. Yes. He sees the heart of people. We look on the outward appearance, but God sees their heart. That's right. And he knows there's something in them that is for a purpose that he has brought about. Now, you, you were... You met him first, and he gave you this prophecy. I knew immediately it was the you word of God. You were the first ones to get this prophecy privately. Yeah. And so it wasn't on TV or anything. And, yeah. and you heard this, and this was before Trump declared for running for president. That's correct. It was, that in, right? it was in May of last year. Ted Cruz had announced he was running for president, and my initial reaction with Ted, of course, like a lot of the evangelicals was, yay, Ted, finally a conservative and a voice. But the minute I read the prophecy, I recognized the voice of God. Mm -hmm. And I stepped back and I said, but God, Father, what are you saying? And I'm telling you, I'm not just... I want people to hear more. And he, they don't have to believe. No. They don't, they, listen. I have told God that I'm going to put the unknown prophets on this broadcast, and the people can discern. And 
That's it's about right. time you all pray for discernment. Yes. Because who you vote for and who you don't vote for or what you're doing, it's life and death right now Amen. in this country. Amen. And I know that one of the things the church is grieved about is that Donald Trump calls people names. <laughs> they don't like that. The church gets embarrassed by it. But can I tell you something? Jesus called people names. You vipers. <laughs> he called Herod a fox. He called the religious people whitewashed tombs and vipers and snakes. That's a my dirty, Jesus, that's really dirty to be called a tomb. My Jesus that's was a name caller. Rotten flesh. So get over the name calling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To be God has a preference, and God must be voting for Donald Trump. So that's the Twitter wrap for today.